Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I'm back with a new video. In today's video, we are gonna go out. Yes, we're gonna go to Jalalsan's in Wabda Town. I have heard they have the Indomie noodles, all three flavors, so let's check it out. And there it is, Jalalsan. Let's go in. Okay, as soon as you enter, you go on your right. And on your right, there's a staircase. You have to go up. Let's go upstairs. And here, they have all the flavors. They have beef, chicken, and vegetable. I will buy all three flavors. Here's my shopping. And we're out. And we're back home. So here is the Dalal Sun bag. <laughs> really cute. This cost me 10 rupees extra. It's a cloth bag. And then here are the noodles I got. So I got the vegetable one. I got the chicken flavor one. And I got the beef flavor one. And here is the proof of purchase. Now, over here, these cost me 40 rupees each. So here is the Indomie noodle. Indo means Indonesia and me means noodles. So literally translates to Indonesian noodles or noodles from Indonesia. We have the beef shashka, murkh jaska, sabzi tarka. So we have it in English, Urdu, Arabic. There's no Indonesian on this. I don't know if these are original. And here it's written Jadda. These are the instructions at the back. I will not follow these instructions. We will make our own. There is an alternative instruction for using the microwave. You can follow that as well, but I like my noodles properly cooked. Okay? So here they have mentioned who it's manufactured by, and on this side it's mentioned it's under license of people in Indonesia. Now I'm going to show you the contents of the noodle packets in detail. This is the seasoning powder, and then this is the chili powder. This is the noodle cake, really, really similar to what we got back home. And then we have the stragglers inside. So let's open the seasoning. So this is the chicken flavor. So the seasoning powder for the chicken consists of salt, sugar, yeast extract, garlic powder, pepper powder, artificial chicken flavor powder. What? <gasps> it's not real chicken ginger powder and chili powder. Now I'm gonna open the chili powder. Now I will show you for the vegetables. This is the seasoning powder and chili powder for the vegetable. Same noodle cake. The seasoning powder for the vegetable flavor consists of salt, monosodium glutamate, sugar, yeast extract, artificial flavor powder, what is that? Pepper powder, garlic flavor, onion flavor, acidity regulator, in brackets citric acid, lemon flavor, celery powder, turmeric powder, leek. And then we have the chili powder. So there you have the chili powder and the seasoning powder for the vegetable but compare it to the chicken you can see how different that is now I'm going to show you the beef seasoning powder and chili powder this is for the beef this is the noodle cake for the beef all are same The seasoning powder for the beef flavor consists of salt, sugar, garlic powder, yeast extract, pepper powder, artificial beef flavor powder, what? It's not even real beef. Onion powder, caramel, celery powder, nutmeg powder, lime flavor, and chili powder. I'll also show you the chili powder. So I'm showing you the seasoning and chili powder for the indomie noodles that you will find at Jalal Sons. We have it all here. I'm going to add all the seasoning and all the noodles in one bowl. 
So we're literally mixing everything in this beef flavoring and seasoning powder, vegetable seasoning and chili powder, chicken seasoning and chili powder. <laughs> I wonder how that's gonna taste. That's all mixed together. So let's go to the kitchen and cook all of these three noodles together. I have cooked these noodles separately. You can watch those videos in the end in the playlist. For now, I'm gonna combine all these three flavors into one. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. Let's turn this on. I'm gonna put the pot. Remember, I'm not cooking according to the instructions at the back of the noodles. I'm just going to be cooking them, draining them, that's the draining station, and then dunking them in a cold water bath, and then draining them again, and then we're going to go and put in the seasoning. So let this come to a boil, it's coming to a boil. There you go. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna let this cook and then we we'll come back to it. Okay, so three minutes are up. The noodles have cooked. Now I'm gonna drain them. Drain the noodles. Ooh, so starchy. Then give them a bath. And then drain them again. And you will get the most cutest, fluffiest noodles. Okay, let's go to our eating station. So three teaspoons of butter. Add it to the starchy water. Here is my seasoning bowl. I'm going to add it to that. That smells great. And then we have coriander leaves. Time to eat. Mm. Remember, these are these are all the flavors mixed together. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, take your first bite. Is it good? Okay, my turn. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That is so good. All the flavors combined? Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. Mm-mm. So all the noodle cakes consist of wheat flour, edible vegetable oil, which is palm oil, Salt, acidity regulator in brackets, potassium carbonate, sodium carbonate, sodium polyphosphate. For thickener, they have used guar gum. For coloring, they have used riboflavin. The last ingredient is the antioxidant, which is TBHQ. Oof, how do you even say this? This is tertiary butyl hydroquinone. <gasps> This is actually used uh, in instant noodles to extend the shelf life of the processed food. And every time you drain the noodles and then drown them in water, they just turn out really fluffy. Because if you leave it in the starchy water, then the noodles start uh, sticking to each other and clumping, and I don't like that. Here you can see, they're not clumping together, they're all separate, and it's really tasty. 
What? You guys want one more bite? Okay, here you go. Mm. So everyone, I'm going to end my video right here. Inshallah, we're going to be finding Indomie noodles or the Korean noodles here in Lahore, Pakistan. The adventure continues. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here.